What is up? Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. Back with some more Resident Evil 4 Remake gameplay for you. And today, this was not a video I intended to make. But I was forced to do it immediately after reading this. Because this just honestly pissed me off. And I can't believe this person had the nerve of all people to say such an idiotic comment like that. And what am I talking about? Well, I actually was planning on doing a review of Batman the Cape Crusader which was the recent released animation of Batman which is basically made by um, one Bruce Timm who we're going to get to in a moment but after reading the comment Bruce Timm himself made trust me doing that review is the least thing on my mind right now and I, I, I just, I, I'm kind of speechless because I can't believe him of all people would have the nerve to say what he did. But if you are curious how I felt about that show, um, I thought it was alright. Nothing special, but nothing too bad or, you know, I'd say slightly above average. Um, I enjoyed it for what it was. Um, I do think it has potential to get better overall. But nonetheless, I'm saying that now because... I don't think I could do the review at this point because I would probably be very, very negative with it, especially knowing the context of what I'm about to talk about. So what is it that's got me so pissed off? Bruce Tim had the nerve to say this. And keep in mind, this is the same person who worked on Batman the Animated Series. So it's not like this is the first time he's ever done Batman, if you're not familiar with him. Him and Paul Dini, obviously the people behind the... Batman animated series from the early 90s, one of the most legendary series, period. But more on why, I think that's more, I think we all can agree now, Paul Dini and not Bruce Timm, deserving the majority of the credit there. But here's what Bruce Timm had to say, and I quote, and this is basically in the whole thing, if you don't know, um, one of the villains in the um, Cape Crusader was the Penguin, and they changed the Penguin to be a woman, and and I guess somebody wanted him to explain why he did that. Now, personally, it didn't rub me too much the wrong way. Yeah, I prefer him to be how I've always known him to be. But it wasn't a deal breaker for me because, once again, there's so many thousands and thousands of iterations of these characters. I mean, some you like, some you're not going to. But it's what he said of why he did it that has just pissed me off. And honestly... Well, you know, I'm just going to say it. I'm just going to say it. So this is what he basically said. Is that he made the Penguin a woman because Batman lacks good villains and there needs to be more females. Yeah. The same dude who worked on the animated series of Batman, who's done a few other Batman projects, yeah, had enough nerve to say that Batman has no good villains and he needs more female characters. I don't know if he meant female villains or characters he didn't specify, but yeah. This is what I honestly think. I think Bruce Tim should not be allowed to work on another Batman project, period, because for him to have the audacity to say that comment of all things should automatically just ban him for life. But I, I want to get something straight to you guys. I know... If you're new to this channel, or maybe you've been on this channel for a while, Batman is my all-time favorite fictional character of all time. I grew up with him. I've been spoiled rotten with him. I grew up on that animated series like a lot of the kids in the 90s. Like, if you say any of those characters' names to this day, the first image that pops in my mind 99% of the time comes from that show, more than anything else. I mean... That show was just so... Like, if you've never seen the animated adventures of Batman, do yourself a favor and check it out. Like, you would not be disappointed. But there are two main reasons why I love Batman so much. It's why this whole reason that Bruce Timm explained pisses me off. One of them is the forensics. I like, you know, good detective work and solving crimes and mysteries and stuff like that. The other is the psychology between Batman and his villains. How a lot of his villains are dark reflections of Batman, how a lot of them could have very easily been heroes if certain things went their way, just as easily as Batman could have been a villain if certain things didn't go his way. And I like that constant struggle. Like, when Batman fights his villains, there's a few that give him, like, a physical challenge, like a Bane or something like that, or a Killer Croc. 
But a lot of times it's more mental and psychological. And I've always enjoyed that because it makes the encounters so much more enjoyable for me and so much more creative in how they write it. And for Bruce Tim of all people, to say such an idiotic comment, oh, we made the Penguin a woman so we can get better villains. By the way, the Penguin doesn't really do anything differently from the old Penguin, so it's like, what what are you talking about? And, and you need more female characters? First, let's, let's address the whole villain thing. Batman has the greatest villain rogue gallery in comics. Like, a close second would be Spider-Man, and then, I guess you say Superman, but... Like, Batman has the most... I mean, nobody knows more villains in a, a lore or, or in a rogue gallery than Batman villains. I mean, people know who these people, characters are. Even if you're not, like, diehard, like, comic fans or something. People know Batman villains. He has so many great villains. Like, Joker, Riddler, Two-Face, Harley Quinn, Catwoman, Man-Bat, Clayface, Razor al Ghul, Tali al Ghul, um, Deathstroke, The Penguin... Uh, Poison Ivy, Man Bat, that's my mom's personal favorite villain in case you're curious. I mean, you know, Scarface, I, I, I mean, um, Condiment Man, no, I'm playing, I'm playing, but, but my, my point being is like, like, what are you talking about? He do doesn't have great villains. Like, are, are you smoking something? Like, what kind of drugs are you on to even iterate a comment like that? To even say something like that? And the fact that you worked on the animated Avengers of Batman, like, like, what is this? Like, what in the world? How can you say that with a straight face and not be laughed off the set? And then, it, you know, the next part, it needs more females. Like, hello, I, I named a bunch over there, but, you know, like, the Harley Quinns, the Catwomans, um, Poison Ivies. Um, Barbara Gordon, um, Detective Montoya, Stephanie Brown, Cassandra Kane. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. Like, like, what are you talking about? There, there is no like female. There's so many of them, and they're iconic and well known. Like, like, come on now. This is so stupid. Like, Bruce Tim, like, please tell me someone got to you and like forced you to say this, or you were under an influence. Like. Wow, but then again, this wouldn't be the first time Bruce Tim has been in a little controversy with DC and Batman and stuff like that. Because I think right now what we're seeing here is somebody who just, he can work well, but he needs a lot of supervision. Like the reason why the animated adventures, the heart and soul of that, I think a lot of people are now figuring out. And people always want to say Bruce Tim, and yeah, he did play a role in it, but it was Paul Dini. Paul Dini was the heart and soul of what made that whole show click in the first place. He did all the the hard, heavy lifting. It's kind of like a situation where, like, you know, who created Batman, the whole Bob King, Bill Finger situation. You know, you always hear Bob King getting all the credit, but anyone knows anything about comics know Bill Finger is the, the person who made Batman what he is. And unfortunately, that poor man, before he ever could get any of that, because he passed away, but... He never got, a, he didn't get a damn thing for that. He didn't hardly get any credit, and it's a shame. And it, this is nowhere near as extreme that situation, but just like comparison there. But, um, yeah, Bruce Tim trying to write a lot of these things, it just, it isn't working. It just, it doesn't work, and you start to hear about it. And, you know, I've heard a lot of stories about him getting all anal about Harley Quinn and stuff like that, you know one of his um brainchild in terms of the design but like it's just this man for him to just say something so asinine and insulting i mean he you you can't make this shit up i mean i he shouldn't he should be banned honestly he should be banned from working on bad if batman has such terrible villains then you know why don't you go make your own villains and stuff but no he can't he he just takes an existing villain and changes their gender. Like, doesn't, like, wow. Very creative. Really creative. You did a great job there. I mean, any one of us couldn't have figured that out or done that. Like, damn. I guess we all must be writing geniuses now, but wow. It, and it's a shame, too. As I said before, I think Bruce Tim could work, but he needs a lot of supervision because you let him go off on his own and. You see what happens. And some people are just like that, unfortunately. And it's not a testament about being, being bad, but it's just how it works. 
Some people can just do things on their own, and it's great. He's not one of those people. And this whole comment definitely reaps on that. But I just want to get that through as a diehard Batman fan who loves Batman's villains. I love the villain rogue gallery of Batman. You can argue I might be more of a villain fan overall in entertainment period than I am a um, hero fan. Because I just like if you don't have villains, they're kind of like the straw that stirs the drink. If you don't have them doing whatever they're doing, a lot of things ain't happening. So... Without those guys, Batman wouldn't be jack crap. He needs those villains to make him look as good as he is. But then again, any hero does. And one of the reasons Batman and people like Spider-Man are so popular because they have those iconic villains that constantly challenge him, whether physically or mentally. But hopefully I made that clear. And as I said, as a dire Batman fan, that just, it, that just irks me, man. That really pisses me off. But... Um, Bruce Tim, I hope someone comes out and just says, hey, I was drunk. I didn't know what I was doing because that, that just makes you look really stupid and really bad. But I just want to get that through in case you, you know, as I said, I would love to do an, an actual review on the Cape Crusader. But having that comment said after the fact and him being part of the project, it's just, I'd be very biased now because I'm just kind of in a sour mood. So I'm just going to do everyone a favor. But yeah, I still think it's a solid, all right show. Not the greatest thing in the world, but not bad. But but as I always like to say, that is my opinion. I want to hear your guys' opinion. What do you think about this whole comment that Bruce Tim made? Did it make no sense? If you are a diehard Batman fan, does this just piss you off and boggle your mind? Let me know down in the comment section down below. And do you think he should be just permanently banned from any Batman related? project for all future endeavors um let me know down below but thank you very much for watching hopefully you guys did enjoy this video and hopefully i can see you guys back on the next one thanks and i'll see you all later peace